The Page administration will roll out legislation aimed at making sure the changes the governor has made to state welfare rules remain after he leaves office. WMTW News 8 political reporter Paul Merrill is here now with a preview. Paul. Tracy, the legislation is called the Welfare Reform for Increased Security and Employment, or RISE Act. It essentially codifies in law the rule changes the LePage administration has made over the past several years. Now, today we talked with the director of the Fraud Investigation and Recovery Unit for the Department of Health and Human Services. He showed us a jar of hundreds of EBT cards he says were seized from the Lewiston area alone. Now, under the LePage administration, the number of full-time fraud investigators within that department has doubled. We're not seeing these cards coming into possession of people where they've stolen them from uh, benefit recipients. We're seeing the benefit recipients trading these cards for whatever, whether it's drugs or, or whatever. So they're uh, knowingly engaged in that. You have to imagine that the people who turn over their EBT cards to criminals, usually it's for drug problems, they're desperate. And um, the opiate crisis is breeding desperate people. It's a terrible scourge, and um, um, we need to help it. Democrats and others who are critical of the administration say the focus on cracking down on welfare, fraud, waste and abuse comes at the expense of potentially strengthening other programs that aim to solve Maine's problems. More on this story and tomorrow's public push coming up at 5 and 6. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.